So we uh we met in a barbershop here. Uh, I came here about three years ago. Sellers from here, and um, when while we were at the barbershop, we just I don't know. <laughs> we both went through some similar experiences. I went it, through lots of experiences. I worked at multiple barbershops, so we had lots of similarities. Once we were at the same shop we were at, and we just decided to just take this leap. Yeah. And Just here do our we own are. thing. And now we're here. Now we want to show you guys how to go about it also. Um, we jumped into this suite in less than a month. Yeah. So we're going to give you the tips that we have from the short time that we, we were able to get it done together. So y'all can be able to do it yourselves too. But I advise y'all to... <laughs> Plan, plan ahead a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Help yourself out and give yourself a, a little bit more time than a month. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. We learned that very we, we Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not everybody can do that. The first thing we want to talk about that most uh, barbers deal with, not even just barbers, it's just people uh, within the beauty industry, probably within every industry, but mainly in the beauty industry that you have to deal with. Uh, when you're going into a barbershop or you're going into any type of environment. Just being at a barbershop for a long time, you kind of pick up on certain things. You know, I've been at shops for a year, um, over a year, and some I've been at for like six months. But you end up seeing people's true colors later, and it's it's kind of trippy because <laughs> it's, it's pretty much the same everywhere you go. It can go, it can go. Good or bad. Or bad. Like in our situation, it, it went very good. <laughs> Even though, you know what I'm saying, in business, whatever you're doing, uh, especially if you're in a partnership, you're going to learn, like, uh, your each other's strengths and weaknesses. Like, she helps me with some things that I don't like doing, and I help with some, some things that she maybe don't like doing. But we make it work. Yeah, we try um, to keep each other on point. It don't always go that way though. Yeah, sometimes things don't work out, but you got to be able to still be, you know, able to maneuver through those things together. Always communicate. That's yes. like the biggest thing. Yeah, that's that's the that's number one. If I could say anything, it would be to always communicate with your business partner or uh, whoever you're associating yourself with within the business. Um one thing that helped us gravitate towards each other a bit more was um, Kasim decided to learn doing other things rather than just cutting hair. And I've always wanted to, to learn other things. I started dyeing hair. I, that was something I've done even yeah. even before I knew him. Yeah. But um, he started doing facials and that really made me be like, oh, let me try to learn how to do that. Yeah. But yeah. other people <laughs> in the shop didn't really have the same vibe. No. Some people weren't really digging it, but you know, it's it's things you learn when you're deciding to add on other services or just do different things that other people aren't used to seeing every day yeah. at your typical barbershop. Get prepared you know? for the, the whatever it is, whether it's hate or disagreement or whatever, because uh, people have their own feelings about doing different services. Even though I believe we both feel that doing different services is going to really get you to another level because you're not, you're not able to just do one thing for your client you can do multiple things for your client and you can be like a one-stop shop yeah. and also help people who your clients already know yeah there's been multiple times where we have um clients that tell us like oh my wife wants to get a facial or and it's just like oh why you know we might as well know how to do it because why why would his wife go somewhere else when he he comes here? And yeah, and why is, you know will have saying? his come tag his wife come tag along also? Or not even that because sometimes they come separate. Yeah, they do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They want to experience you for themselves, but the whole thing is like you're able to appeal to male and female clients, kids, whatever the case is. You you can appeal to everybody. 
And you can appeal to a lot of teenagers because we already yeah, know, you know it. these high schoolers be getting bad you acne know, and stuff. You they, gotta look nice. They need help out here too. You in high school? <laughs> <laughs> you need a lot of help. You can't have a nice fade and you got like the the what do they call it? Pepperoni face. <laughs> you pepperoni. can't do that, man. It don't look right. That's out of date. That's out of date. Yeah, you can't do that. I can't read that. Which one? The second one. Oh. Okay, all right. So the second one is when and how to tell clients. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so, I don't know. When you're Here are our tips. We have tips on how to tell your clients and when to tell your clients. Um, I went about it. I told my clients, I think I told them, since we were moving in May, I told mm -hmm. them like the whole month of, of what is it, July? Yeah. No, August. No, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> we go, we go ahead and that out. April, May. We go ahead and June. Yeah, it's June, not <laughs> July. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm tripping. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll edit that out. Oh. <laughs> Let's get edited. All right. April. Yeah, no, yeah. wait. April, April, May. April, May. So we moved in in May, so it got to be April. So April, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but did, I tell, but did we move? But I had, remember, I was cutting up the last week. You was dipping. I was, was I was dipping. Yeah, I dipped so out before go. you. <laughs> I so dipped out before you. Yeah. So I'm just like, wait. <laughs> so you're trying to figure out when exactly. Because I cut hair at home for like a few days. Okay. And okay. you just like, you transitioned like fully and that's from another the shop thing. to here. That's and another I was thing. Like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and she just left me. She did. Uh, she was okay, yeah, that's a whole other thing on, how, anyways, on how we left. <laughs> How to right now we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> how to tell your clients when you're about to go from this could okay. be from shop to shop or this could be from salon okay, to shop. Okay, when and how to tell your clients that you're moving to a new location. Yes. Um, some people say two weeks. I would suggest a whole month, just because yeah. you know people would rather know in advance. Um, yeah. Two weeks might be a little bit, just because I have clients who get weekly haircuts, yeah, bi-weekly haircuts. Like, so wait, like what? if you tell them a month in advance, I feel like that's enough for even those clients that you just have like once a month. You know? That's more than enough time. Yeah, that should be enough time. That's more than enough time. Um, and you know, I had to be a little discreet because of the, the time that I was leaving. I was yeah. just, you know, I was made sure to tell my clients, you know, I'm leaving such and such date. And just, if you have any questions, just let me know. <laughs> Let me know aside from being there, you know. Like, if you gonna talk about it, don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. <laughs> all right, all right. But Kasim went about it a different way. I went about it a different way, and I know now that I went about it the wrong way. I went about it the way that I thought was right. I wasn't really educated on shop etiquette because it was my first shop like by itself. Um, so I. I'm not even going to say this. Let's just go ahead to the next thing. But yeah, two. Uh, um, you decide a month, two weeks, whatever you want to do. Because uh, honestly, I did mine two weeks. And it, it worked out pretty smooth. But some people did get lost. So seller might be right. Because you'll be able to give them <laughs> directions on how to get there exactly. If you uh, at least type up a message. Especially and, you know with the suite, because the suite yes. is a lot different than the barbershop. It People is. are going to expect, like, a storefront. They'd be like, where the building at? Yeah, like, where, where the you building located? at? Or, like, I thought you guys were, it says this outside, like, yeah, yeah we're man. a suite. We're inside that building. <laughs> Give you have to, like, be able to be very informative yeah. when you're giving these people their messages, or well, your clients your messages. Yes. All right. What you will need when you get into the shop to be operative. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to the legal stuff, that's my guy right there. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get into that. We're actually going to do another video on what you will need legally before, uh, as far as paperwork before getting into a suite because that's a whole process within itself and we don't even have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but right now, Okay, yeah, it's cool. Okay, cool. So right now we're about to get into the salon equipment. <clears throat> uh, I said salon. Salon suite, whatever you want to call it. The equipment that you will need. Yeah, the, the suite equipment. Uh-huh. 
All right, so first off, you will have to start off with chairs. Now I say chairs because you will need your barber chair or your salon chair, and you will also need a chair for your clients to be waiting, um, just in case they bring someone or just in case they just have, or to sit for like 10 minutes, five minutes, just have a seating area for them. You want to have one, uh, even if like on our suite, uh, they have chairs on the outside, but you want to make sure you have chairs on the inside too. I feel like yeah. that's just some people city. might not want to like be out in the halls where other people can see them, you know. Yeah. Man. So um, another thing, mirrors. You need mirrors, obviously your main mirror, and you also need a mirror for your clients to be able to see themselves when they walk out. We've noticed that that mirror helps a lot and my brother actually helped us with the idea of getting yeah. that mirror <laughs> that was helpful too yeah he stepped out the chair and was just like yeah y'all need see one myself. yeah like i need one when y'all walk out like oh okay yeah. yeah yeah that's what made us get another one um speaker you need a speaker for music so obviously so you can listen to things throughout the day um and a tv we have two tvs that's optional, you know? Yeah, we're going to give y'all a little walkthrough of the shop yeah. real quick, too, so you can see how we have it set up uh, to give you an idea. And, you know, you can go on Pinterest and look up some stuff, too. They give you sweet ideas as well. Another thing that we noticed um, helps a lot so that if your room doesn't seem very simple, just have about, like, three to four pieces of art on the walls. It helps so that people have something to look at. Um, sometimes we know like starting off you're not going to be able to decorate or add everything that you want to to begin with yeah. you know things are expensive but at least having like three to four pieces of artwork for people to look at when they're just sitting in the chair that helps um, people notice a lot of things people notice everything everything <laughs> in the room, trust me people notice everything you know um, the next thing we got was a product case um, that's pretty much where you can you can decorate it how you want to decorate it. You can put whatever type of products or um, whether it be face masks or wax stuff. Um, if you do teeth whitening, the stuff that you use for that, it can be um, the facial mask, the facial products that you use. It can be anything. Um, and you can just set that up in whatever area you would like. Now we have multiple shelves in here. Yeah, we we have floating shelves. shelves and then we have like, you know, the regular shelves, but we can put links for both of them. Um, so you got, and we'll show you guys videos also of the different types we have. Um, they help out a lot and they weren't as expensive as you would think. Um, towels and a towel warmer is a must, especially yeah. if you want to be different. You know, not every location always is able to supply a hot towel uh, with like certain services so it, it, the simplest things um, applied to their service helps a lot like doing a lineup with the hot towel yeah it makes a huge makes difference. a huge difference with the service um, the trash cans and a towel hamper those are definitely things you will need yes <laughs> uh, what else? station mats oh um, hell yeah <laughs> Oh, that you, one's like, I almost forgot about that one, yeah. but you definitely need a station mat. I promise you, the most important thing that I can tell y'all right now is take care of y'all feet, man. Take care of your feet because you're going to be, whether you're booked or not, you're going to get to the point where you are booked and you want to make sure that your feet not breaking down if you're standing up for long periods of time. Um, the next thing, make <laughs> sure you get a clock that displays the time in an area where everybody can see it. You know what I'm saying? Um... Because some a, a lot of times we don't have our phones on us, so you at least want people to be able to look up and see what time it is. And the last thing is a coat rack. You want to make sure that when people come in, they have somewhere to put their belongings. Uh, besides just throwing it in a chair and just in case somebody comes in and they can't sit down or something like that, you want to make sure you always have an area where people can hang your stuff and you can hang uh, your capes and all of that too. Also, a fridge. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that. But a yeah. fridge is very much needed because you will need water and your clients will need water. So yep. it's up to you if you want to sell things and stuff. But definitely have water for your clients because it's COVID and people ain't drinking out of water fountains no more. Like, <laughs> no, ain't nobody doing ain't that. Ain't nobody drinking out of no water fountains <laughs> yeah. no more, man. How to get clientele. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, 
uh, we could talk about the Google page. Yes. The Google page was a must. Like, you know, that was like the first thing that we made sure we had up. Well, um, before we even get to that, I think it's important that we talk about because all those things took money. Hell yes. Yeah. All those because we can't talk about that. We can't talk about advertisement without talking about the fact that you need to make you you need to make yourself available to be here for these people, right? Because if you don't, how else you gonna get money for advertising? You know what I'm saying? Because you already have to pay booth rent with this, which is probably higher in the suite depending on where you at. So you're gonna have to cover that and still make sure you get you get traffic in and out as much as you need. So the now one thing, first. one thing we learned, uh, especially from a barbershop that we were at, you know, they had lots of uh, reviews. So it yes. helped a lot for them to get phone calls um, every day. They were getting like at least three phone calls of a new client trying yeah, to man. get a haircut in the area. So we picked that up quick and we yeah. were just like, hey, when we start our new location, we got to make sure that our clients leave reviews. And that, that don't helps. be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid. People Stop being will do afraid it. to ask. People will do it. And even if they don't put something, as long as they put that five star, you good. You're good. <laughs> you because good. I promise you, people in the area, they'll quickly be like, you ask them, hey, what made you uh, pick us? They'll say, oh, we saw yeah, the reviews. Y'all got y'all got pretty close to a five star. Mm -hmm. So as long as you do that, I promise you that that phone is going to be ringing. Yeah. But you got to make sure, like he said, that you're available. And for those hours that you're actually setting, because it'll work will against you. you. It'll work against you, right? Having that Google page, yep. or whatever, because they'll be like, "I always call, and they never there." Yep. And you know what I'm saying? So you want to always make sure you're available. That's with the Google uh, Maps page, correct? That yeah, like just about? just the Google page okay. in general. That's we did Google Ads as well. Yeah, that too. You know what I'm saying? And when you first start, they give you like a fifty dollar promo to where. You instantly get fifty dollars after you spend your first fifty. So, that's a free hundred dollars worth of advertising. That's a free hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? You know, so and it, it did help. It, yeah, it helped. You it helped with saying? people already in the area knowing that yes, we're here. It helps. So that's what matters. Knowing, utilize that. Yes. Utilize that. Big time. People be afraid to utilize the internet and social media, but you utilize it. It works. Uh, what else? Uh, Instagram. Instagram uh, has Instagram as has well. helped too. Another thing is we we've been given like uh, promotions to our clients. Yep. To be able to refer other Consistently. people, you know? so On that a way consistent basis. that way we get also like you know their friends, their cousins, whoever you yeah. know. Because people are always gonna ask, hey, where'd you get your haircut? Now some people will be like, oh, I ain't gonna tell you where my barber at. Don't don't don't, don't, be, that don't guy. be that person. Don't be that. <laughs> don't be that guy. Nobody likes that guy anyway. Please <laughs> don't, don't be that guy. Yeah. Uh, what else do we use to get new clients? Do we want to get into the flyers and things like that as well, or are we gonna do that in another video? What are we doing? Uh, <laughs> another video. <laughs> been, that has to be like a, a snippet. That, that's another. another video. Yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> But uh, what else do you want to tell them before we get into it? This not, this road is the road less traveled. I'm yes. going to say that. Because most much. people be like, I want to get into a suite, but I don't have these things taken care of. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And that's another thing why we're going to go to the legality part of it. Because you have to have certain licenses taken care of and displayed when you do get the suite. So we're going to give you guys some more videos on a consistent basis that you can use and not Definitely. only just a suite but a barbershop or wherever you're trying to go where are you trying to go i'm trying to think of what else yeah. mm. i think that's what there's nothing else we have to say on traffic because we could always talk about the marketing aspect in a whole other video let's do that in another video yeah that's what i'm thinking hey we got plenty of look listen uh because i was just trying to make sure it's still recording right it's still recording but i don't even know if i'm on your level or not but i'm, <laughs> I'm trying to be next to selling so we can end this last part out with like even if it's like a shot of us or whatever okay but um we're going to drop a lot of videos for y'all on a consistent basis. One thing I've been learning is that people keep coming to us for advice. A lot of people. And it's just like, okay, if 
it keeps on happening on a consistent basis, there's obviously something that people need to know. So we might as well just give it out to everybody. And we're not for being selfish. No, so we will share our experiences. <laughs> we're going to share our experience with y'all, you know, good and, and bad. You know what I'm saying? Because this is, like we said, the road that's traveled in. It's not easy. It's not. People, it's not easy. people paint it very nice. But <laughs> they, they really look, need to be showing the good. process a little bit more. That's what we're here for. Yeah. We're going to show y'all the process. This shit takes time. And it's not just something that will happen overnight. No, so don't not. don't think to yourself like, oh... Like it's gonna be quick and it's because it's not. It's not it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. Even without being here, you still gotta do work sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And be prepared to. It's not like a regular job where you're just working uh, these set amount of hours. You can you're gonna get into that where you're able to have a schedule, but it requires more than that. Mm -hmm. It requires more than an eight hour day sometimes. Sometimes you will be at the suite way longer than that because you gotta, you know, help your people out. But make sure you just make it work for you, your family, and your clients so you should be good. You should be yeah, straight. So stay tuned with us. We'll have another video dropping later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peace out. <laughs>